Hello everybody, I'm back and let's continue down this floor. And oh, there is a lot of guys in here. Yeah, why not? Uh, what is that? Some sticks I don't need. I don't know what's down there, but... Yeah, you can handle them. There. Uh, you can handle them too. Green gummy. I think I already have one of those on me, actually. Uh, the stairs are down there, but there's monies and max elixir. Amp clearing. Ugh, what an intimidating place. Ugh! How frightening. It seems like lightning can strike here at any time. You do realize we're in a place surrounded by electric-type Pokemon, but whatever. We should get away from a place this scary as fast as... Huh? Over there! Could that be the water float, Tony? Let's get a closer look. Ugh! Uh, what am I gonna do for this guy? Why did you come here? This is our territory! There's someone over here. Let's hide, Tony. <laughs> so, you're going to hide it just like that? That's kind of cute, actually. Alright. We'd actually be grateful if you kept doing that. We'll sneak quietly to get a closer look as we can. Alright. Let's take them out. Ugh. This is not good. We'll surely be defeated if we stay here. Who are you? Show yourself. <laughs> My name is a man electric. Man electric, I am. I am the leader of these electrics. Holy poopsicle, that is a lot of guys. And now we're prepared to fight. Prepare for trouble and make it double. Alright. Mmm. Mmm. How are we going to do this? Well, let me look at my items. Okay, I don't see anything that's going to help, actually. Oh, Slumber Orb. Info. An item that afflicts all enemies in the room with sleep status condition. Perfect. Oh! Mmm! Hmm! 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 Mmm! You didn't see that. Crapsicle. That was a weird target to choose. Oh boy, I don't like that. I don't like that. Okay, well... <sighs> Can you stop being a stupid? Attack the guys directly in front of you, friggin' moron. Oh boy, Dane. I don't think Dane can handle all those guys. Yeah, Dane's definitely screwed. Minum is wasting my reviver seeds because screw him. Okay, I'm gonna set this actually. Um, here's what I'm gonna do. Um, there we go. Dane's already gonna die anyway. Ah, you're so useless. Nice. Nice! Uh, so I'm at, here's what I'm gonna do, actually. Take Peck off. And what I'll do is move over... Um, actually, I'll just go ahead and kill him. That way Dane can hit both of those guys. Nice. Hey, I'm a... Hmm, look at that. Hmm. Uh, you, uh, you were there. Wait, wait, wait. 
Wait just a second. We honestly didn't come here to- We honestly didn't come here to make claim on your territory. Enough! I take it this! And then he sneezes electricity at us. Stop! Stop this instant. Their words are sincere. They trespass, but they don't intend to make claims on your territory. Dusk- D- Dusk Noir! You! Who are you? I am the explorer Dusk Noir. Manectric, you have every right to be angry, especially in light of what your tribe has suffered on these grounds. Your hostility towards any that trespass here is natural. This place is your haven, a place where you find solace. I understand that completely. On behalf of these unwitting trespassers, I offer the sincerest of apologies. They entered here unbidden, but did not do so with malice. They mean no harm. We will leave this you in peace as soon as our errand is complete. Please, believe me. Mm hmm. You seem to know what you are talking about. You make the claim that they mean no harm. So be it. I choose to believe your words. I will allow you some time. I expect you to be gone by the time we return. All right. Go away. Uh, come. Nice. Oof. Thanks, Dustnor. You sure saved us. But... Who were they? A group of Manectric and Electric. They are a nomadic tribe that always stays on the move. They roam in constant search of places that are hospitable to them. And Amp Plains is often lashed by thunderstorms this time of year. They find it to their liking, so they dwell in the Amp Plains this time of the year. But tragically, they were once attacked by en enemies here without warning, and I understand that they suffered terrible injuries. Ever since, the Nectrix group has been very sensitive about trespassers here, so if anyone trespasses upon these grounds, well, they would strike first, for fear of being stricken. Okay, so they want to strike first by announcing that they're going to attack us? Yeah, good going. Somehow, at some point, that became a law among a Manectrix group. Oh, I get it now. That's why they wanted to fight us. No wonder they refused to hear our arguments. Oh, I forgot something. I thought I saw the water float over there. Wouldn't it be funny if they were looking for the water float and this wasn't the water float? That would have been funny. It's here. This is it. Dust Noir, sir. Is this... There's no mistaking it. Without a doubt, this is the water float. Really? We did it. Let's return the item to Merrill and his little brother right away. I don't get it, though. How did the water float end up here? I would imagine that it was put here deliberately. Whoever did this knew that you would eventually get to this spot. The fact that Manectric protects its territory is well known. Someone expecting a confrontation between you and Manectric. You were set up. Wasn't that your intention? You sneaking scoundrels. Pardon? It's about time you came out of hiding and showed yourselves. <laughs> so you knew all along. No point in hiding then. Gee, how did nobody notice them hiding? They're humongous. Alright. Hey, it's you thugs. <laughs> <laughs> so, you guys did it. But why? <laughs> we were going to wait for you to get stomped by Manectric. Then we were going to step in and mop up afterwards. We didn't count on this guy meddling. Shall we settle this? Heh. <laughs> Sure, if it was just Team Corrupter, you can bet that we'd rough him up good. But against the world-famous Dust Noir? <laughs> That's a different story. Let's skedaddle, boys. Yeah. 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 Bums. What stinkers. I'm not gonna forgive those guys. They certainly are quick when it comes to skedaddling. I'm afraid our efforts would be wasted if we were not to give chase now. I think we should deliver the water float to the younger brothers. Would you like to save your adventure? No, no I would not. But thanks for asking. Oh wow, we got our water float back. Yeah, thanks. Really? You saved Azrael way back when, and now this? I don't know how we could ever thank you. But really, thank you. Ah, oh, please, don't mention it. If you want to talk, thank it. If you want to talk to anyone. If you want to thank anyone, thank the great Dustnoir. If Dustnoir hadn't been there, we wouldn't be here now. 
Thank you very much. Thanks, Dust Noir, sir. No trouble at all. I'm very happy for you. It's wonderful that your water float has come back to you. I must say, it is so like the great Dust Noir to be so modest. And I must say that Team Corruptor has also been superb. After all, the team has again completed a difficult job. In rescuing Azrael, you were so fast at pinpointing the child's whereabouts, and so fast at reaching our f young friend, too. Oh, about the Azor rescue, we have to admit something. It would be great if it truly happened the way Keklian said. But that's not exactly the truth. We didn't pin down Azrael's location before we rescued him. My partner here just happened to see it in a dream. Excuse me? A dream, you say? By dream, what do you mean? Oh, that's right. Maybe the great Dustnar will know what it all means. You see, my partner occasionally gets weird dizzy spells when touching something or someone. Okay, that sounds a little bit sketchy. And then my partner sees our... or hears events that happen in the past, or just about to happen in the future. What? Well, that's... that's... the dimensional scream! Uh, what? Dust Noir, sir, you really know something about this? In that case... Should we ask if Dustnor even knows even more? I th he's right in front of us. What do you think? Ask about what? Oh! Oh, right. I was thinking about cotton candy while you guys were talking. It's okay to ask, right, Tony? Yep. Dustnor, sir, we were wondering if we could get your advice about something. I really like how this game at certain points doesn't have music. It seems to add ambiance. It's nice. I see. So you found our friend unconscious right here. Yes, this is the exact spot. Good thing there's a rock there to mark it. Then you retained your consciousness, though you'd lost your memory. Yes, with a memory of a name, and the memory of being a human before this. I beg your pardon? Huh. <laughs> human? But our friend here seems to be a Pokemon in every obvious way. That is true. I guess this is even beyond the Great Dustnor's understanding, but we're sure that something caused my partner's memory loss, and caused the transformation from human to Pokemon. A human, with a dimensional scream ability? You are... You said your name... You said your name, at least. And that name would be... My name is Scuffle in the Sands. Tony told the name to Dustnor. Ah, I see. You're... Tony. Does that name ring a bell? Hmm. It seems... means nothing to me, unfortunately. What? Did I just see the faintest... Did Dustnar just hide the faintest of smiles? Or did I imagine that? Uh, no, I think I saw a smile on that old ghost's face. You know, I mean, he has no mouth that we can see in that sprite box, but beyond me beyond me. I'm certainly sorry I couldn't help you with that. However, I do know about the ability that Tony possesses. Look at all the S's in the word possesses. Five S's. That's way too many. Oh, really? What is it? The ability to see the future or the past by touching something. That ability is known as the dimensional scream. Dimensional scream? Indeed. How such an ability is learned, that is unknown. But sounds and images slice across the boundaries of time, breaching objects and reaching into Pokémon, to manifest as visions. And it is all I know about the extraordinary ability. So Tony has an ability as special as the Dimensional Scream? Dot 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 dot. Yes. Well, perhaps this is why we became friends. To help unravel the secret of Tony's transformation into a Pokémon. I offer you my full cooperation. Oh, you will? Yes. To be perfectly candid, I can't stand knowing that there's something I don't know. Honestly, that is the fullest, full truth of it. <laughs> it's reassuring to know that we have your help, Dustnor, sir. Isn't this great, Tony? Hey, birds. Hey, look at all the Pelipper. That is some good DS graphics. Seems to be a lot more flying than usual. Could something be the matter? Hey! Oh, hey, Bidoof. 
I, uh, I f f finally found you all. What's the hurry? You're all out of breath. The call's been put out. All the apprentices are re to report to the guild immediately. Uh-oh, something's up. I will go with you. Hurry, everyone. God, he walks like such a gangster. I love it. Do I want to save? No, I don't. Chapter 11, Grovile the Thief. <sighs> Come on, hurry. Rabble, 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 rabble. Everyone's here. Yup, yup. Sorry, everyone. We just got told that the call went out, so we came running. What's going on? Another time gear was stolen. What? Not another one? From where now? Where was this time gear stolen from? Well, it's... Uh, what's the problem? Did it happen somewhere you don't want to talk about? Wait, it wasn't the one from... Yeah, it was. This time, the time gear was taken from Fogbound Lake. Huh? But, but how? The time gear was at Fogbound Lake. Only we knew about that, right? So how could this happen? Uh, it couldn't be that a member of the guild talked, could it? What? That was uncalled for! Hey, don't you trust your fellow members? Eh, I don't know, that one Diglett's looking a bit sketchy. Uh, sorry. That was uncalled for. You're right. No one would break our promise to keep that a secret. It just never happened. I wasn't thinking. I know no one would ever do that. I'm sorry. Well, it's no wonder that you'd leap to that conclusion. I mean, this horrible thing did happen right after our expedition. Just one moment. I'm afraid I don't quite understand. There was a time gear at Fogbound Lake. I did not know that. I did not hear quite a... I did not hear quite a different tale from your recent expedition. I recall being told that your expedition to Fogbound Lake ended in failure. I apologize, Great Dustnor. We made a promise, so we couldn't ever tell you, Dustnor. Anyway... A lone intruder slipped into Fogbound Lake, knocked out Uxi, and made off with the time gear. Uxi? Is Uxi alright? Yes, Uxi is fine. He's under the protection of Magnazone Squad. Oh yeah, because they're really good at keeping prisoners out from getting out. Alright. No need to worry. <sighs> Glad to hear that. Wait, there's more. According to Uxi's... Uxie's victim statement. The intruder's identity has been revealed. Then fess up. What kind of critter are we dealing with? There's already a wanted poster up for the thief. See for yourselves. This Pokemon goes by the name of Grovile. Oof. That's one nasty piece of work. Grovile. So this is the Pokemon. The thief who's stealing the time gears. This wanted poster just arrived. It was issued by based on Uxie's statement. It arrived as part of an all posts bulletin. Oh, that figures. That's why all the Pelipers are flying around. Officer Magnazone obviously doesn't want to see things worsen. They put a remarkably high bounty on thieving Grovile. We promised Uxie. We promised not to reveal the secret of Fogbound Lake. But then this happens. We didn't leak the secret, but... I'm ashamed to show my face in front of Uxie now. Hey, hey! Here's what sticks in my craw. The view that there, that there has been... The view there has been ruined. And hey, hey, I just can't forget that. Uh, hey, Guildmaster! Uh, I think the Guildmaster has diarrhea. Uh, Guildmaster! Uh, Yumta! Uh... Squawk, squawk. Everyone, we'll catch Grovile. We'll catch that thief. I vow it upon the name of Wigglytuff's guild. Chatot, if you will. Uh, y yes. Okay, everyone. From here on out, we're, we are putting our full focus on capturing Grovile. Do your best to bring Grovile to justice. Goes without saying. Hey, 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 there's no way we can let any more time gears be stolen. Come on, everyone. Let's pull together. Let's do it for Uxie. Wigglytuff. I believe I understand the situation now. I will join in your guild's pursuit of Grovile. 
Th thank you, Great Dustnar. Golly, having the Great Dustnar in our corner is mighty heartening. Hey, hey, we're honored. No, no, it's my honor entirely. At present, the Guildmaster and I shall confer. We will devise a strategy for finding Grovile. In the meantime, you should all start preparing to go on searches. Return here when you are ready to leave. Okay, everyone. Let's outdo ourselves. Hooray! And everybody walks off. You should hurry and get ready, Tony. Let's start preparing with a visit to Treasure Town. Alright, let's actually check on the egg. I really want that egg to be done. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Will it? Mm, well, not quite yet. That's aggravating. I want that egg to be done. Alright. So, yeah. We gotta start looking for Grovile, and we're not gonna do that until the next episode. So, I'll see you guys later. Bye.